Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hope you had a wonderful day with family and friends yesterday for Christmas. I wanted to share a little something with you on this day 24 of 62 video challenge. Yesterday, I took the kids to the movies. And have you ever noticed that when a new movie comes out, it's usually playing in two or three different screens, right? So that's what exactly what happened to us yesterday. The movie we went to see was playing on two different screens. Each showing was about 30 minutes apart. There was this one person there in particular who, number one, was in the wrong theater, wrong screen, if you will, for her showing. And she made such a ruckus that it almost completely emptied out our showing. She also got the manager all in a, in a, in a tissy. The tissy was all about customer service. I totally, totally agree for that. Customer service, customer service. But check your facts first. Don't be so impatient. Um, make sure you have the right information before you explode. <laughs> and exploding is not always the answer anyway. Long story short, she came in, uh, made the announcement that the same movie was playing in such and such a theater screen, and whoever wanted to watch it, come with her to go watch it. Well, first point was she was in the wrong showing. Second point, they left the, the theater we were in, went to the other one. They've already missed the first half hour of the movie. Because by the time everything was said and done, it was an hour past her original showtime, and we all know the first 15 to 20 minutes is previous. So she missed probably a good 20 minutes to half an hour of the movie anyway. Long story short, the manager, again, redid everything, tried to reboot the system, unfortunately messed everything up, had to wait for another person to come in and fix it. There was only 10 of us that stayed in that theater waiting patiently. We weren't worried about it. It was no big deal. It was Christmas Day. We wanted to spend the time with our family and friends, so it was no big deal. The manager came down. We ended up having to come back for the next showing, but the ten of us that stuck around, we got free movie passes to go to the movies again, so we get to go back to see other movie. And not only that, but the manager told us, told everybody, no matter what size drinks they had, no matter what size popcorn they had, to bring it all back and they would refill it for free at the next showing. So, oddly enough, I'd like to tell her thank you. <laughs> Those of us with the patience got the free stuff. Those that didn't have the patience and left the theater with her ended up missing part of the movie and obviously didn't get free movie tickets. Long story short, please have patience, especially this time of year. It is Christmas. There is no need to be hustle and bustle, show offish, doing things that you just don't need to do. This is the season, whether you believe in Christ or not, this is the season that you are to show love and respect for one another. Actually, you should show it every day, but during the Christmas, New Year season, I mean, what what is this all about? Come on, guys. What is it all about? It's about spending time together. It's quality time, not quantity. And just remember, have patience. Now, in her defense, I don't know what kind of day she had. I mean, somebody may have, you know, jumped all over her case that morning for something that she was trying to do for others. I, I really don't know. I'm not judging her for it. But I just find it interesting how the events turned and how we were rewarded for her impatience because we had patience. So just remember to have patience with those you love, those that you care about. Try to put yourself in their shoes because you do not know what kind of day they've had. You don't know what they've gone through. And for goodness gracious, everybody learn to show respect. Everybody has a job to do. Everybody has a task to do. No matter how small you think it is, it will affect someone 
somewhere down the line. Anyway, here's to inspiring you and encouraging you. Keep the patience. You will receive the rewards. God bless to you today, and may you guys have a wonderful, wonderful end of the year.